HelloFresh takes the work out of eating well with meals like bacon and green pepper mac and cheese, which is not only easy to make, but it's also delicious. Get 50% off plus free shipping when you use the code 50BASEMENT at HelloFresh.com slash 50BASEMENT. Welcome back to the base. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, what's going on? Nothing. Good. Nothing at all. That's our show. That's our show. <laughs> Thank you so much. Don't forget See to subscribe. See ya later. Oh, that was, I think that's like blasphemy. What? In some places. Like, there's a proper way to salute. Obviously, neither of us know because we're not trained. We're not soldiers. We're not. <laughs> we're barely men. We're not in the service divisions of. It's called the military. No, but there's more. Well, yeah, no, you're right. There's different branches of the military. I know. Uh -huh. Also, can I just say this? No. The most Hispanic hat I've ever seen in my entire life. What's wrong with that? Makes you like it less? No one's saying that. I'm That's, just saying it is. So you're just pointing out that it's Hispanic? Yes. And you know what I'm pointing out about you? Go ahead. You look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that because actually you look great. Oh, well, thank you. You do. You uh, do. I, 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 I have to admit. Yes. I'm really digging the grays. Oh, yeah. I'm really digging the mustache. Well, you we know you're digging the grays. You have a whole grout Shut the on. fuck up. Got it. A grout fit. It's a... Whoa. It's all gray, baby. I consider these pants black. Stand up. They're dusty black, which is gray. Bro, those are blatantly gray. Come on. Uh, those come were on. gray in the 80s. At least they're not what you're wearing. I forgot what you're wearing. I'm being honest. I'm just wearing shorts. Yeah. Maroon shorts. Whoa. Whoa. Way to go. But the mustache looks good. Thanks. And I kind of dig the, like... I don't care what my hair looks like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of like that. My hair's, like, curly. Yeah, and I think you've let it get to a certain length that it's starting to curl. That's what happened with my Someone hair. Someone asked me if I got a perm. Oh, could you imagine? <laughs> Should I got a perm? We should get jerry curls for our fucking episode. He, he, nope. Why not? How do you get them? It's I don't know. I just know that it's very— Is that just like a— it's I think curls? it's like an oily, like, substance that's put into your hair. Uh-huh. And they're supposed to look wet. Go look at any fucking 1980s music video. They're just sopping wet curls. But isn't it up or is it just down? No, I think it's. I think it could bounce. I think it could be up and up, up and, and bounce. Up, you know, up and bounce. I think it could be up and bounce. I think it could be down and out. You know. Should I wear mousse? What does that do? What the fuck is mousse? I don't know. I've, bro, chocolate some, mousse too. I don't. Is it put? It's just foam. Is it foam? Is it? I don't know. Whenever you have a chocolate mousse cake, it's like, I th this just tastes like a chocolate cake. First of all, stop. You're n get off your fucking eye. Get out of your ivory tower. It's just pudding, right? It's just airy it's pudding. pudding. It's cake and pudding. And like, I think. I, I don't know. What is mousse? I don't know. When we went to that French restaurant after we shot the, uh, the, the etiquette Eti video, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was one of the, I think one of the uh, desserts, because I remember I got the uh, creme brulee. Yeah, oh, dude, I fucking love a creme brulee. God almighty, that was I my like, first time ever having it. I, what? Maple creme brulee, first time. Wait, why have you never had creme brulee? Uh, don't fucking do this. Don't make me fucking do this to you, Joey. Because I don't go to these fucking fancy French restaurants. Where it's creme brulee. They yeah. probably have it at diners. Joey, you think I'm going to a diner and say, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> fucking 30-year-old, you know, with more gray hair than my grandmother? Let me get a creme brulee. No. I would. No. Creme You're like one good. of those psychos that goes to a fucking diner and orders like a lobster. No, no, no. Yes. No. Uh, Marco, though, we were in a, like, it looked like a dive bar yeah. diner. Ugh. And he got like razor clams and eggs. Ew. And I was like, Are, do you What's want to like, get it? sick or Why something? Would... Like, Never. Diners, no seafood. No. No seafood. I have a rule for my diners, my diner experiences. I usually get well done burgers too at diners because I'm like, I don't know. Uh, I don't, I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. I, for my burgers, I do medium, but my diners, I always got to get, I got to test their mozz sticks. Yeah. And their fucking French onion soup. You're a slut for mozzarella sticks. God almighty. Yes, yeah, I am. It's crazy. I am dude. such a dirty little whore for them. I know. What's better than that? Um, yeah, I know. I think it's great. Oh, you, you almost thought of something, and I was about to jump across this table and well, wring your no. neck. I mean, there's not many things that you can, like, compare it to. There's, like, onion rings, which are fucking disgusting. No. Yeah. I like a good onion ring. Also, like, a blooming onion. Whoever eats that is just, like, insane. Yeah, put, watch this. Watch this. You ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like blooming onions either? They're just, like, kind it's, of hey, let's annoying. Hey, an onion. No, nope, It's nope. kind of annoying. I feel like someone's fucking with us. Bro. Deep fry anything and I'll eat it. You deep fry it's like deep fry this whole onion. Dude. And like the whole thing. And it's like, you want it? 
Eat it now. It's, it's like a, it's like a prank. My brother-in-law Adam is such a fucking dude. I love this dude so much, but he needs to be studied by science because he used to not anymore. He used to eat so bad. I was talking to him one day, and, he, and he's like, "Yeah, yesterday I had two wheels of brie." I'm like, "What? Wait, and how he, big are these wheels?" It doesn't matter. He eats a whole wheel of brie like a burger. Oh, what the hell? Nuts! And then he's like, yeah. And I, I got two blooming onions. And I'm like, In the same me. day? <laughs> and this dude what is... What is this shit like? Dude, I don't know. I've never... You, believe it or not, I've never asked him about his fucking feces. I was, I've been eating two wheels of cheese. Uh, that's the first thing I'm Well, I asked about. him. I was like, when was the last time you used the bathroom? He's like, my, my tummy didn't feel great. Yeah. But like he... Did he say tummy? He's a full grown man. He didn't. Maybe not. I think I might have put the tummy in there. Okay. Uh, but... You may want to take tummy out of... I mean, I could put I could put anything anywhere I want, Joey. Let's not be... Let's not... That's how a lot well, of people get in trouble, Frank. That's how a lot of people get in trouble, Frankie. That's how a lot of people get in trouble. I know. I know. You, you taught me that about business and I won't do it. No. What? Um, I just... Legitimately... He would be like, yeah, I had two blooming onions and like, you know, a bottle of Mountain Dew. And I'm like, you legitimately need to be studied by science because he's like. You're probably better off eating a whole pack of Bro, he's like six foot four and like fucking skinny as a twig. The guy's in great shape. The insides, probably nuclear though. Yeah, yeah. They're fucking glowing like, you know, different colors and shit. It's probably Hiroshima in there. Well, Hiroshima or Hiroshima? Well, I think, are we taking the Americanized version of it, or are we like going to give credit to how the Japanese refer to their own city? I would like to give the credit, I, but I, I think don't. I think it's Hiroshima. Hiroshima. Um, but I think us as Americans, we were like, we went over there and we fucking took care of business up in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Okay. You know. But it's Hiroshima? But I will say this, though. There's been a lot of, like, oh, well, Oppenheimer, never mind. Oppen, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, I've been watching so many, like, atomic bomb videos. Yeah, well, there was some... Don't some, say it. Don't say it. Someone. <laughs> someone made a TikTok, and it was, like, uh, Japan banned Oppenheimer. And, like, you know how you can, like, duet a, a TikTok? I know what you're about to say. So. <laughs> I didn't make this. No, I know, I know. I did. I was like, whoa. Let's be very clear. Tragic. Wrong. The atrocities of crime and war and stuff like that. I don't agree with it. But the person that made this TikTok was like, yeah, Japan banned it because they got a first fucking viewing up back in 1945. <laughs> Holy shit. I did see one that was like showing the equivalent of what if they came out with a movie about the U.S. And it was like 9-11 and like all this shit of like a cool movie with like famous actors about 9-11. I was like... Yeah, a yeah. Little, little rough, but, okay. you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I will say this. Mm -hmm. One of my biggest pet peeves is when people... Is war? Is war one yes, of your Yes, one of my biggest pet peeves is war. One of my biggest pet peeves is, like, um, like atom bombs, like when you kill a bunch of civilians. One, I don't like that. I Two, don't like that. Don't war like, in general. War in general. It's what just, is it good for? You know what? Mm -hmm. I've been asking myself that. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh, -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> We're sometimes so smart, but so stupid. What was your pet peeve? Uh, when people, like, go to, like, when you were going to go to Spain. Yeah. And they come back, and they're like, oh, my God, I had such a great time in Barcelona. Ibiza. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like, come on, you're American. Just, you, just, just say it wrong. Say the American. Like, that's part of being American, Get, saying words wrong. And just, just give in to a piece of shit. Like, yeah. being a piece of shit. Like, it's okay. Like when people will come back and like there's something racist when they come back and they're like, oh my God, I had such a good time. And like they use like. Mekonos. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. Or it's even worse when they go to like, you know, Jamaica or something like that. And they're like, oh my God, it was the sands of Jamaica were so beautiful. Yeah, and you're like, ew, dude. Like that, there's something wrong there. It's like you're literally from New Jersey. Why are you saying it like that? This is <laughs> very disgusting. weird, honestly. Um, but I actually do have a bone to pick now that we're talking about food. Are I got talking a, about. Food? I got a fucking yeah. We talked about the blooming onions, babe. Oh yeah, that's right. Let me ask where where does Outback rank in like your like chain restaurants? Been there once. Me too. Yeah. Don't care for it. Also, I was I waited so long. Really? Yeah, I was just like waiting outside of. This Did you go to Outback. the same one that I went to? The one that was in that Queens like knockoff mall, Bay Terrace. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I don't like that place. I went. Why? I just don't like their vibe. I mean, I've only been there like a handful of times. I went to the Outback, and then I went to like a Yankee Candle in there. Which, by the way, Yankee Candle is a wild store. It, There's no oxygen in there. Yeah, bro, you walk in and you're gasping for air. Uh, yeah, I'm smelling like 
It's like I don't know what I'm smelling. It's too much. It's sensory overload. You know what else is like that? Bath and Body Works slash White Barn. I don't know why they. What re- the fuck is that? There are two names to them, Joey. I'm not quite sure why, but it, wait, is the- that Bed Bath and Beyond? Uh, Bath and Body Works is what I said. Oh, oh. I thought okay. Bath and Body What's Works. White Barn. It, go to any mall, and if there's a Bath and Body Works in it, it has like next to the name or under it, it says White Barn, and it's like. This, that seems a little racist. Yeah, I don't know. Not quite sure. I know you always say you like the white barns better. Yeah. I don't think it's appropriate. Yeah. You're just going to let me ruminate in that one, aren't you? Ruminate? Yeah, just like sit in it. I know what it means, Frank. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the bone? You had to pick a bone? Yeah, fucking... I don't know if you saw. There's a new class action lawsuit that I might sign up for against Taco Bell. I'm going to stop you there. I'm. I don't. I'm not really tapped into the clash. Act, cl- <laughs> the clash take two. Act, I'm not tight. Uh, the class action lawsuits. Why is that so hard for me to say? All right, do it again, but use your brain this time. Ready? <clears throat> Frank, I'm sorry. I'm not really tapped into the class action lawsuits. I was waiting. I was, was super. I, I was. I was waiting for you to trip there. Me too. No, I'm not either. But like, I am tapped into Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Yeah. Who are they going after? No, no, no. No one's going after. Uh, no, Taco Bell's not chasing anybody. People are going after Taco Bell. Okay. And listen, normally I'm a Taco Bell tank. I will fucking live, breathe, and die by Taco Bell. When was the last time you had Taco Bell? It's been a while because I'm, you know, I try to avoid fast food. Mm-hmm. I would say I've had it at least once this calendar year. <laughs> Such a political answer. I don't know why. I, I can say that. What do you that. usually get? What's your Taco Bell order? You ready for this? I, I'm cheesy. I'm, gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm sorry, I asked, but hey. <laughs> It's the same thing every time. Cheesy gordita crunch, no spicy ranch. Bitch. No. And then the number nine, which is the uh, crunch wrap supreme meal with a soft taco supreme. What comes in the meal? A soft taco, a supreme, and a drink. What's a supreme? It just has uh, sour cream. I'm not quite sure what the difference is. <laughs> yes, it's all these buzzwords. <laughs> supreme! Yeah, I, don't, I think they do that as like a marketing tool. Yeah, but and then I just fucking slurp it down with a either a Pepsi or it was a wasn't Sierra Mist, but now it's like Starry or something like that. Whatever the fuck. What it's the called. hell? There's a new soda in town. Sierra Mist is fucking it got taken behind the barn. Yeah, but isn't Sprite still like? No, dude? but Sprite is like, I think the Coca Cola. Oh, I don't. Know. You know what I'm saying? The, you know these these soft drink wars. Yeah, but when was the last time you had Taco Bell? Dude, I don't know. Davina used to bring Taco Bell over to my house like for the Super Bowl every year for some reason. I don't even know where they're... Oh, it's on Northern Boulevard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, he used to bring them over, uh, and that was probably the last time that I had it. And he would always bring two suitcases, oh. and they would be the ones that are like Doritos. Oh, my God. Which is such a good idea. And like that's what kind of sold me on Taco Bell. Is like, yeah. We're going to take the best Dorito, which is the Cool Ranch, right? I would say yes. Absolutely. Okay, good. Uh, and then just make it a fucking taco shell. I'm gonna ask a question. I'm gonna raise my hand and ask a question, Frank. And using it, this is for the, the the video medium here. Yeah, Frank. Thank you. Um, I know this part of the conversation's coming. How quick till your body turns that Taco Bell into sewage? Um, so it doesn't turn into sewage. It's more like hot lava. Okay. <laughs> uh, and that I would say is around an hour twenty eight minutes. God damn, that's quick, dude. It ain't slow. Yeah, no, it is not. Yeah. I remember one time I went to Taco Bell, the one on Northern with Keith, <sighs> and I got two soft shell, soft, what is that, is that what it's soft called? Soft shell, soft shell. Yeah, like tacos, and then Flaccid two, shell. Two flaccid shell. You got flaccid tacos. Yeah, and then I got two of the, the Dorito ones, Doritos Los Tacos, and I ate them in my car <sighs> okay. in the parking lot. You didn't even wait to get home. God, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I mean that was the that was the craziest thing. Yeah. I, had, I was running red lights to get home. Dude. I swear to God. And what I don't car know was it? It was my mom's Mazda. Oh, who cares? fucking blow your blow your pants out in that? If it was your BMW, I'd say pull over. Blow my pants out? Yeah. You think that I care about the like? It's not the. I don't want to shit myself, Frank. I'm not thinking about like the car. I mean, shit your pants for Taco Bell. If if I was told, listen, you can have Taco Bell every day for free, but you will. Poop your pants fairly quickly after. For free? It's not even that expensive. Like, you're not like saving that much money. It's a fucking... What if you could... It's Sophie's Choice here, Joey. That's I mean, what I'm doing. I know, but I'll give you a Sophie's Choice. What if you went to Taco Bell and they told you that there was no like health ramifications from eating that every single day and it was just like, yes, whatever? Yes, stop. Yes. But you had to shit your pants every single time you ate it. Oh, I was, I was on board with the health ramification. Because yes. 
That's why I don't have it more because it's just, it's probably just not great for you. But you would shit your pants. If it, how much money for you to sit there in a diaper and just rip a shit? Now here's my real question: How much money in a joke manner, or like, are you opening no, up no. the fucking Santa Gato Studios checkbook? No, like. <laughs> No, like I'm saying like for real. Like if I had a suitcase full of cash and there was an amount, but it's the smallest amount. Don't try to get I, uh, I'm not going to be like a billion, Joey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Honestly? Yeah. Because it would probably have to be a Patreon exclusive. Okay. Uh, because and I would have to check. And you would, would have, have to check you'd have to you'd, have, like to, you'd have to check my diaper. <laughs> so disgusting, dude. I would say cash? Yeah. 50k. What the f- That's way higher than I thought. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, all right. I'll say 30. That's the lowest I'm going. Really? Yeah. So if I literally- Do you know mentally what that would do to me? And I, what that would do to my poor wife? You can't- What the hell would it do to her? She knows that her fucking- <laughs> She knows her <laughs> husband that she finds physically and sexually attractive is going and shitting his pants in front of a camera. Dude, if she loves you, she'll put up with that. <laughs> she will. Because she's a good woman. But you know why? I wouldn't put up with her if she did it. If she shit her pants. If she shit her pants, the relationship's done. <laughs> Listen, it's crazy. <laughs> she recently asked me. She goes, "Can I a serious question? If I poop my pants right here, I was like, it would take me a lot. Where was right here, though? The kitchen. The kitchen? Yeah. Fucking bathroom's right there. I know, but, you know, if, you know, she had, a, she had a, an accident. I said, I, well, I, I mean, she's I 100% a, said that. I was like. I don't think adults have accidents. Yes, they do. Everyone has accidents. Oh, like a sh- like a fart. Yeah, like you went to like you know, let something slide and, and it slid, you know, right and in the whole yeah, plate. And it was a mudslide. Yeah. Oh God damn it! Sorry. You yeah, but yeah, no, Becca was like, you, you know, do? like those questions where it's like, if I was a worm, would you still love me? Yeah. I take those very serious. Yeah. And she's like, she'd ask. She's like, if God forbid, if I had like an accident, would you love me? I was like, I would. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> like, relax. <laughs> well, she knows my reaction to it. I was like, of course I'd love you. But, but a little less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. Because maybe you even know there was poopy? Maybe even a medium less. I mean, dude, come on. It's a butt. They get poop on them. No, I, I understand. It doesn't mean I need to, like, there's one thing is, like, knowing it's in the world and then seeing it. You know what I'm saying? Well, she, I'm not, I don't think she's going to ask you to change her, dude. God forbid she needed me to. What is this God forbid? <laughs> God. It's just shitting your pants. <laughs> it's not this, like, incredible thing. I think it is. No, it's not. I hate poop. I know that. I don't like it. And you hate farts. I hate farts. Which do you hate more? Food or, food or part? What am I? <laughs> <laughs> food or part? <laughs> oh, he barped. Oh, God. If I food or part. I, 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 oh, did you just barp? <laughs> uh, hmm. Which one do you hate more? Food or part? I think I have to say, I think I hate farts more. Parts. 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 Food, food of parts. Food of parts. I think I hate farts more because people try to make farts funny. If you shit your pants here, we'd both be really concerned. Dude, I know that you love your wife a lot. Oh, so much. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And, and uh, I know I need you to be fucking dead serious. I will be. Today. All right, watch this. Be dead serious. Watch this. On, on this. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to put it on the line here. If I'm lying, it'll fucking kill me. Yeah. Well, magic isn't real. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> So let's say you, you're sleeping, mm-hmm. right? And and she wakes up before you, and you're just laying in bed, and, and you wake up and you open your eyes, and she has her ass in your face. And she's wearing pants, and she just rips a fart in your face, <laughs> and she like laughs and like runs away. Yeah. At that point, like, what happens? Honestly, yeah. The first thing I do, yeah, instantly Google divorce lawyers. <laughs> no, no, no. Be serious. Okay, seriously. Yeah. I I'm taking the kids. Hold on. No, no, no. Be serious because I want to know if the balance of your marriage is weighed with a fart. Let me, oh, let me be very clear. If what, what's something you hate? Hispanics. If you woke up. <laughs> no, seriously. Give me something that you really, really, really dislike. I don't know that jokes I like. Jokes aside. I, jokes aside. Like something you really genuinely dislike that like you share. And it's not like I choose to hate farts. Yeah. I just don't like them. I just think that they're like... I know, but anything that I would say is not farting, frankly. I understand. Like, it's like, but the general... The, the, what I'm trying to get to, the fucking basis, is just like... It's something that it's clearly... It makes me uncomfortable. Right. 
and I don't like it. But I'm asking. So if I woke up <laughs> to my beautiful wife fucking ripping a fat one, ripping a fucking beef. Yeah, ripping a beef in your face. In my face. Yeah. I am both hands on her butt pushing. and extending as fast. Pushing. Listen, yeah. I've been working on push-ups <laughs> and 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 my bench. She's going to hit the wall. She's going down, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm that's the first move. Okay. Second move. How, like, obviously, you guys aren't getting divorced, but how? No, 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 no. If that happens, <laughs> you I'm not kidding you, Joey. You would divorce I'm going to be crashing on Uncle Joey's couch for a couple <laughs> weeks, okay? I'm going to leave. Uh, well, He's like, I got to go I figure myself out. I can't out. leave my What, would am I going to kick a, my wife out? I'm not going to do that. No, is it? <laughs> would you go for a long walk near, like, a body of water? Like, just, I got to think about shit. Uh, it's incredible. Uh... I would probably, I would, uh, an, are you kidding or are you serious is the, the next of thing. Of course, of then course. Then a wiping of the, a profusive wipe of the face. Right. Probably going to wash my face. <laughs> Shit on your face. Dude, <laughs> you said bare ass, dude. I said she was wearing pants, you moron. Oh, I thought you said bare ass. Okay. Oh. oh, well, all right. So then I probably won't wash my face. I'm, I'm going to be upset though. I know you are. I'm going to be really, and you know me. Yeah. I am, it takes a lot for me to get visibly angry. I feel like we're seeing how that's not true. <laughs> well, no, it, this is joking podcasts, Joe. I said be serious, I'm, you bastard. All right, all right, all right, watch this. Seriously. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we're being serious? Like, the fuck? No. My serious reaction. I'm, are you fucking kidding me? Right, yeah. I'm getting up. I'm removing myself, and I'm saying, don't follow me. Right, yeah. And then. You would have to cool off for a I would have to. I would have to do something to cool off. Whatever that may be. Going into the into the basement and screaming into a pillow for no, a half an hour? No, I wouldn't scream into a pillow. Yeah. Everyone's hearing my pain. Got it, got it. Want... <laughs> screaming into a microphone. I want, the, yeah, I want a megaphone, <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to have a serious long talk about our future. <laughs> Would you take your ring and put it on, like, imagine No, my... I hate people that do that where they're put just like... Put it on the dresser? <laughs> you know what? I'm leaving. It's like, you're, that's, you're clearly doing that because you, you saw it in a movie. Yeah, yeah. You know? Um... Because I don't wear okay. my ring. It's not a physical. It's a, I wear my ring in my heart, bitch. Do you ever forget that? Cool. Uh, <laughs> I wear my ring on my heart. It's a. It's not. It's, <laughs> it's just a thing you just said. So I don't know why you're trying to make it a thing that the world says. What, uh, like, what would you re if you were? If, I mean, lying I, next to the mother of your children. <laughs> yeah. This woman. Maybe one day, man, that you grow to love so much that you say, "I want." To spend the rest of my life with you. And she rips a fat beef. And you wake up to her bent over. Starting a lawnmower. Starting a lawnmower in yeah. your face. Yeah, yeah. What do you do? Uh, yeah, it would be a conversation. I, I it would be a yelling conversation for sure. It was scolding. A sc I mean. oh, okay. You're yeah. going to scold. I'd be like, why would, like, I would never do that. And then, well, and then what if they were like, all right, well, then that's something I want you to do to me. Fire away. What? 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 You know, I'm, I mean, you're gonna like. I don't care if someone's farting, but if no, 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 but if someone in my nose, bro, if someone fucking wears your nose like a tampon, you're not gonna be upset <laughs> about it. I mean, dude, you're you're you're. I, I you're feel talking like, about farting though. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. If they if they fucking shove your nose <laughs> in their ass. into their gooch. And then they fart as hard as they can. Like, you remember when you farted in there and it sounded like a knife? That was kind of insane, honestly. That was a fucking yeah. sharp one. Yeah. You wouldn't be, like, a little... Jokes aside. What you... if I farted in your face? Like, let's, let's make me your wife without the love. Well, you can't do that without the gay. I'm just saying... <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, I slept over your house when we were younger and I just fucking beefed I feel one. like as a kid, I was probably... F farts were funnier as kids. Oh yeah, as you 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 because they were like uh, they were like uh, they were kid farts like kid farts are all right, but now it's a thirty now old. adult farts suck so much. Yeah, right. You know, yeah. I if you were to fart if we were kids because remember a kid someone would fart and they'd go fucking safety, you know, or, or fucking doorknobs and then yeah, you'd yeah. have to chase the person and punch them until they touch the doorknob. Who the hell made up that game? I don't know. How did that catch on? I, why didn't they fucking copyright it? Trademark that shit. How would you make money? Anytime someone said it, that's not copyright. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Saying words. Yeah, it is, Joey. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. All right. If you, as kids, 
children. Different. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Danny has farted in my face. And you remember how I was not happy when that happened. Danny farted in your... Oh, yeah, he did. I was w- on a work call back in like 2018, 2019. There's a video of it. Yeah, him. and he fucking fired off. It wasn't really a booming fart as much as it was like a little like letting air of a balloon. You know what I mean? Regardless, it was a fart. I agree. I was not happy, but I kept it together because I didn't know Danny well enough, and he could beat me up. <laughs> I openly say also, that. Also, you were on a phone call. You can't go, what the fuck, you pig? Yeah, I should have. God almighty, I should have let a pig or rat fly or something. A rat. Bastard. A, 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 I should have made fun of his diabetes. That's what I should have done. At that point, I don't think he had it yet. He was Let's working be honest, on it, He though. was working on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was building up. He was working on it. Um... I guess we'll get to the ads. <laughs> uh, next here we have Squarespace. Squarespace, uh, this is a platform that you can use to create your website. If you have, you know, if you're selling any products or, you know, if you're creating content or you need some sort of landing page for yourself, you can create your website via Squarespace. And I mean, everyone I know that has a website has done it through Squarespace. I like them the best. I've used other ones in the past. Um, and I don't like them. It just, their interface is weird and it takes forever to create the website. It doesn't look as good. And it just doesn't have the functionality that I think Squarespace has. So in, in my experience, when I've used it, it's been super easy. They have a lot of tools um, to help you, like, you know, find out where traffic's coming from. And also these templates, I talk about them every single time. I think it's the most helpful part. You can go on their site and pick a template. And it gives you, like, a starting point, like, light years ahead of someone who's just starting from scratch. And you can just switch out the text and everything. You can make a beautiful website in you know, a fraction of the time that you actually think. You don't need to be a coder or anything like that, um, but it's great. So uh, right now you can head to squarespace.com slash basement uh, for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Uh, Again, that is squarespace.com slash basement and you get a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, use the code basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a uh, domain. All right. So Go out there and, uh, you know, create your websites and let me know what it is. Uh, and we have another one here. We're going to do another one. We have stamps.com. Stamps.com is great. You can do, uh, you can use everything that you get at the post office right at your fingertips at home. All you need is a printer and a computer. You go on stamps.com and you save all the t- you save time because you don't have to go to the post office and wait in lines or, you know, sometimes the post office closed. Like if it's 2 a.m. and you feel like sending a package, you can't because of the, you know, because it's closed. Um, but you can save time and money. They have exclusive uh, deals that are online up to like 80 something percent off, uh, at, which is exclusive to stamps.com. Um, so yeah, you save time and you save money. Uh, for 25 years, they've been um, helping over 1 million businesses. So this is tried and true. Um, everyone is using stamps.com. So uh, yeah, uh, sign up with the code basement for a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. There's no long-term commitments or contracts or anything like that. So you can just sign up with the promo code BASEMENT and you'll get that special offer. Um, all you have to do is go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and enter the code BASEMENT, okay? So again, stamps.com, the code is BASEMENT. You get that free trial, digital scale, um, and free postage. So go check it out, get some discounts, send your stuff. You could print any official US postage right through the website. So there you go. Yeah, what? Why are you looking at me like that? You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring up Patreon, baby. All right? Listen, <laughs> one fine day with a wolf and a purr, a service was born that caused a little stir. It wasn't a blue buzzard. It wasn't a three-eyed frog. It was from Joe and Frank, and it was a subscription called the Basement Yard Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash basement yard. Check it out, folks. Every week, every week, every goddamn week, I tell you about this. And I actually, I can't be upset. I'm actually really happy and grateful because guess what? We just crossed 25000 patrons you know you know how nuts that is you know how insane that is that's pretty nuts pretty insane which i believe put us in the number seven patreon podcast ranking in the world number seven insane wild so thank you guys so much and for those of you uh uh, uninitiated you can go to patreon.com slash the basement yard and you could sign up today that's where you get these weekly episodes one week in advance you get it on the clips oh my god you're laughing you're in on the joke those other those other people aren't yet so you get to be there and then that second tier Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. You get exclusive 
videos from the basement yard every single Friday morning that are sometimes a little more insane, a little more out there, a little more raunchy, ridiculous. So go check it out. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. You could start and end your week with the boys. All right. Thank you very much to our 25,000 and plus, and we're creeping toward that number one spot. Just like Ludacris in 2006 said, we're coming for that number one spot. Yeah. Was you that know? 2006? Must have, around there, I would say. That's such a good song. Whatever happened to Luda? I know he's like acting now, but like. Yeah, he's in one of the biggest franchises ever, I guess. But he's not like the, the music making Luda. DTP was like really at the top. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, not a lot of people remember DTP. DTP. Yeah. That was our, that was our, Ludacris had some bangers back in the day, dude. Yeah, dude. I mean, they're still bangers, I guess. Yeah, they're kind of classics when you think about it. Don't think I'm over Taco Bell, by the way. Okay. I just want you to know that Taco Bell, there's apparently a class action lawsuit that's getting filed against Taco Bell because of false advertising. They advertise like double, if not triple the amount of meat in their food than there actually is. Oh, well, yeah. Well, no. That's just fast food. No, it's not though. Dude. Look at... Honestly. Do you watch a McDonald's commercial and go, oh, that burger is going to look just like that. No, 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 bitch. No, I didn't. No, I never have. I understand that there's a fucking a magic to the way that they make the food look. I've seen those those videos where it's like they paint fucking grease and it's like glue and not yeah, milk. and they're like spraying it yeah. with shit. No, I understand that. But at least the meat qual content looks the same. Like it looks like it's the same amount of meat. Bro, look at like – you ready? Look at like a fucking advertised Crunchwrap Supreme, all right? And then you tell me that this is the actual amount of meat that they have in this bad boy. Now listen, I will fucking, I will die for a Crunchwrap Supreme. I can't find like their like official, God. Um, but it's like a third of the meat. I'm sorry, I couldn't find <laughs> it. I'm really hungry for Taco Bell. I'm not even going to lie right now. I'd eat it. If I if I bring Taco Bell here? No, if I DoorDash it right now. You're going to DoorDash Taco Bell here? Never mind. Trying to do something good for you. Buy you lunch for the fucking 4,000th time. What the hell? You know I have. But I'm... I'm, I'm Wait, they're being sued? Yeah. By whom? The people. The public. The public. Are we getting anything out of this? I mean, I, if, I could, if we can jump on board... So they're being sued because their commercials, like, they show, like, the Crunchwrap Supreme. Like, Not even just their commercials. Go to, like, their fucking menu in store on the drive-thru. And like, it's like, God damn, that Crunchwrap Supreme looks like it's fucking fat. Oh, uh, so it's, like, false advertising? Yeah. I guess. I mean. Don't, I don't guess. Know. Support. I, wh who? I don't. Me. You're in on this now? I Maybe. I'm hurt here. Yeah, I don't know. I've I've never I've, I I haven't had Taco Bell in a while. But like every single time I get it, I'm like, yeah, there could be more meat here. That's why you get fucking five of them. Well, it doesn't I don't want five. I want one. You want one big fatty. I want one to do the trick. You want one big fatty. I don't want to. I want one ten dollar taco. Mm -hmm. I don't want to spend fifty dollars to feel as full as I would by. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want one. Yeah. That's all I want. I know, but like, do you like hard tacos? By the way, I don't. I don't mind them. I kind of like them. I don't like that shit. Well, you don't have to. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you take one bite and the shit is like... It's... Yeah, it's like all over the place. Why would... There's oh, Keith. Oh, there he is. He oh. just said fuck you to me. He said I fuck you to you. Like oh, and then Ant's filming. What is he It's going to be in his new smut film. Those... <laughs> <laughs> Look at those glasses. You know that. Yeah, I was know. pregnant. Is he... That's offensive on multiple... What's under your stomach right now? His gut, Joey. Oh, why is it... More important question. How many pockets you got in those pants? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my shit. God, dude. Are you kidding me? Okay. We're making fucking sausage here. Okay, go leave. What are you doing? Goodness gracious. This guy just loves to watch sausage. I don't think that's like a thing. <laughs> um, you What? Taco Bell leads into my next story. Okay. Synergy, baby. Yeah, I don't know. Kinda. <laughs> that's not what synergy is. Kinda. Go ahead. Uh, but... There's a girl who is doing, uh, she's calling it the sewage challenge or something like that. Oh, is she shitting on herself? Well, no, but she's dumping raw sewage on herself. And it's because... <laughs> raw sewage? It's like the 20th... As opposed to cooked. It's like the 15th or 20th anniversary of uh, uh, the Dave Matthews incident. And... What is that? You don't know what that is? The Dave Matthews in incident? Joey. No. You don't know what the Dave Matthews incident is? Is this like a famous... 
Yeah, it's like a well known. You said twenty year anniversary, fifteen or twenty, but it's it's not. It ain't new. No, I have no idea. The Dave Matthews Band. Yeah, you know who they are. Yeah, lead vocalist Dave Matthews. Yes, yes, good former drummer Carter Buford. I do know that. Who cares? A very good drummer, I'm sure. Um, But they were, I believe, in Chicago on tour, and they were passing through in their bus, and they had to dump. The sewage from, from the bus the, from their bus. Okay. Yeah, they meant they did it off of a bridge. Okay. As there was a boat of tourists. No. Underneath. Yeah. They dumped. So someone so, was rained on. Someone, a boat of tourists in maybe it was Chicago. I'm. It's not important where it was. Were covered in fucking Carter Buford's dump. And piss and Dave Matthews fucking loads. I don't know. How about just piss and shit, Frank? Well, you don't know what they're doing in those buses. <laughs> yeah, I know. But that's the Dave Matthews incident. You've never heard about this? No. You've never watched like a I Love the 2000s on fucking VH1 back in the day? Oh, I'm not 80. <laughs> so I don't. No, I didn't. I haven't watched those You shows. sure? No. You sure about that? I am. I have no idea what you're talking Dude, about. Dude, all over they them. They dumped it off of. The driver was just like, we Isn't need Isn't you're not allowed to do that anyway? Like, yeah. That's like a- well, you know, those mid-2000s, there was a lawless time, Joey. Yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. people were running around, and R. Kelly was making music, and, yeah, you know, yeah. fucking... <laughs> a song called The World's Greatest, like... Yeah, I chill. about that. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, but, yeah, so, so they're covered in shit. Wait, so what's the sewage challenge? Oh, wait, what? She... She started. Remember that fucking ice bucket challenge for... Oh, uh, ew, dude. Ale? Yeah, so she covered herself in sewage. Where does she get sewage? And she's like, I challenge Dave Matthews to do the same. What do you think he's going to say? <laughs> hey, hey, take a... I'm going to have you close your eyes. Oh, uh, stupid, dumb, white bitch. Got it. Before, <laughs> before the fucking question left my mouth. Mm, let me guess who did let this. Me, let me guess, uh, take a while to guess her uh, hair. Dumb, white bitch. Take a while to guess her hair color. Just one, two. I'll give you... There's many hair colors. I'll give you un guess, Joey. Mm-hmm. Go. Blonde. Got it. Nailed it. <laughs> Do you know her name? Oh, it's got to be something like... Uh, I'll tell you right now, but it's got to be something... Wait, where is she getting sewage? Well, Because I, if, I, if someone told me, you have, you have a half an hour, go get me a bucket of sewage, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Oh, by the way, her, she's calling it the one girl, one bucket challenge. Oh, even better. Which she knows. Yeah, it's Chicago uh, tour boat was dumped in 800 pounds of pure sewage from their tour bus back 800 in... 800 pounds? 2004. Are these people okay? <laughs> That's a lot of shit. It's a lot, dude. How big is this tank? In honor of the human waste accident uh, anniversary, uh, her name is Annie. Annie? That's Annie. That's the that, idiot? That's an idiot. <laughs> That's the idiot? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God, dude. She did it while uh, obviously playing their crash, their, their, their 1996 hit song, Crash Into Me, in the background. Fire song. Really good. Love that song. That, I Like, apparently it's the song you that You come he, crash into me, dude, baby. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, Play crash and then cover yourself in shit. Yeah. Uh, is there a video of her covering herself in shit? Uh, so there is a video. Can I see it? She just did it on TikTok? Yeah. Where did she get all this? Or did she fish it out of her own toy? It says the, it is unclear as to where she got foul-smelling brownish-yellow liquid. Maybe it's fake and we're being duped. It doesn't matter if it's fake, Joey. It doesn't <laughs> matter because it's podcast. People do weird stuff for attention, don't they? Um, yeah. Cover myself in shit. Yes, they do. Like us. Yeah. I'm trying to find the actual TikTok here. You're doing a phenomenal job. I'm a big, big journalist here. Dude, when you're, yeah, sometimes you pick up your phone and I would say 100% of the time, it takes you way too long to find the thing I, you're looking I get for. that. Honestly, I get that. All right. And I you c- continue to do it. I can't find it. I'm going to put it down. There you go. <laughs> but, <laughs> dude, what do you think? Hey, mm-hmm. Annie, what do you think Mr. Matthews is going to do? Mm. Reminds me of that song, Annie, Get Your Gun. <laughs> Isn't that a song? <laughs> Isn't it? I think it's Annie's Got a Gun. That's Janie's Got a Gun. Oh. <laughs> Wait, does Annie get your gun even anything? <laughs> Wait, now what? I got the phone Isn't out. That a ba- no, that's Jane's Addiction. Annie, 
Get Your Gun. No, that's a thing. Annie, Get Your Gun. What's the song? It's a musical from 1950. Why do I know Why that? Why do you? What the fuck? It has 100 on Rotten Tomatoes. Pretty good. That's a certified fresh, if you ask me. Annie, Get Your Gun. Janie's Got a Gun. Janie's Got a Gun. That's it's Aerosmith, isn't it? Janie's Got a Gun. What's the one by fucking Jane's Addiction? I don't... Is there guns in that? I don't know, but Jane... 21 guns. That's a Green Day. It is. One. 21 guns. I don't know any Jane's Addiction songs. Uh, Jane Says. I know that song. What song is that? Jane Says. That's the only song I know. I, you didn't... It. Oh, boy. Yeah, I met too. That's a heavy hitter in the office today. Yeah, there is. Um, that's the only song I know. That I Jane. I don't know. It doesn't matter, dude. I think Annie. I think Annie, the, get your gun. Though. I think of the redhead orphan. Yes, you know. I do think of that. The redhead orphan too. Annie, who was just a good singer. What was the story with that? She was. She was like an orphan. An who was orphan. Optimistic. That was the whole story. I think. Like well, the sun's gonna come out tomorrow. It's gonna be all right. But we're all orphans. Is that our, the story? Slow the fuck. I want to know. I don't know. Joey, slow down. Yeah. She was in an orphanage. Correct. That's how that works. I think. Yes. And by the way. Do those exist still? Are you even a, a person? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think they did with all the children, Frank? Let them go into the wild like they're fucking rabbits? Not what happens, you <laughs> idiot. You know, a lot of people still, they drop off I don't babies know. at firehouses like they're a stork. I don't, and just yeah. go like. I think that's one of technically like the only legal ways that you can give up your child. Yeah, I, I think. I don't know. <laughs> There's like places you can go and you put a child. Not that I looked that up, but no, like, <laughs> I'm pretty, no. There are places where you can go and like put a child and on basically in, in basically. Where a are mailbox. these people? Where are people? These people that are dropping their babies off get these beautifully woven wicker baskets that they're leaving these babies in. No, those are the storks. But where do the birds get them? You but know what, what I mean? Where? Yeah, that's a good question too. How can that happen? So Annie was an orphan. She was an orphan. Lived in an orphanage with um the fucking. Uh, she was not nice. Someone mean, of course. There's always a mean bitch. It's the mean woman. It's the mean woman. There's always a mean white bitch in these I movies. think she was played by Carol Burnett in like the most famous like the like 70s version. Don't know who it is, but uh, come on. You don't know who Carol Burnett is, Joey? I don't care. <laughs> oh Why God. do who is that? You seriously don't know who Carol Burnett is? like No. She's one of the most like iconic female comedians of all time. Carol Burnett? This is genuinely mind blo uh, like blowing to me. Carol Burnett the Carol Burnett show. Okay, okay. Let me see. She's 90, bro. Yeah. But she's an icon, bitch. I get it. Respect like, the fucking game. I was zero and she was six. You know Betty White, she was on one fucking... That one, bitch is everywhere! One, she was on... Was. Now she's in one specific spot. <laughs> yeah, and that's below the dirt. It is. Um, but, uh, so, Daddy Warbucks... Oh, okay. Who's Come, that? A character from Annie. Oh, he's like the warden? He's like a big, big millionaire billionaire. He comes to the orphanage and he's like, mm, that one. Annie. Annie. She's like, sweet. And then the orphanage lady is like, oh, I'm a really loving person. I'm going to get Daddy Warbucks to marry me so she can take his money. Something like that. Okay. It's some That's wild. That's the whole story? It's something like that. What's yeah. the sun will come out tomorrow mean? Well, because it's hard was... being an orphan, you know? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a hard knock life. Is that that too? Us. Yeah, it's oh, a hard wow. knock life. And then Jay Z took it. Yeah, he did. And then yeah. he made it his own. He did. He made it. And he made a couple dollars off of that one. Yeah, dude. Like a couple bucks. Jay Z making money off the orphans. Mm. Kind of fucked mm. up, dude. I mean, I think you should donate some of that money, Mr. Z. I think he just opened up free public library. Books. <laughs> Oh, uh, but yeah, some some shit like that. But isn't it like these plays are wild? I don't know, dude. The 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 Annie. I've never seen Annie. All yeah, you, Joey, you one hundred percent have seen Annie because I, I, unless bro, I'm mistaken, I, I think your sister loved that movie. I don't know. I vaguely remember I your sister a, I watching. I watched a lot it. of Lamb Chop growing up. You remember that? I do remember Lamb Chop the puppet show. Wasn't a big fan. My older sister was. So it makes sense because our sisters are the same age. Yeah, yeah. Lamb Chop, Lamb Chop. Lamb Chop. You know. I don't even know what that was about, but like. It was just a puppet show for kids. Yeah, it's like puppet shows are fucking stupid. There was Lamb Chop. There was Hush Puppy, and then there's Hush Puppy. Wasn't that like shoes? 
Yes, but they were one of the characters was named Hush Puppy. Oh. Lamb Chop, Hush Puppy, and then there's another one that I can't remember. Yeah. But it was like, and then the woman that like was like cool with Lamb Chop, she just looked like just like an asshole. She looked like one of my grandma's friends. I remember that. Used to show up to my piano recitals. Yo, do you remember your piano teacher dying? Yeah, I do. I do, <laughs> I do remember that. I remember that shit. Mm-hmm. That was crazy. Have I talked about the piano recitals on the show? <laughs> no? I was talking to someone about this recently, and they were like, what? Joey was... <laughs> you don't want to know something about Joey that makes it even cuter? Is he invited me to them. Hold on. You know how fucking cute that is? <laughs> Listen. You were like, bro, I, I'm, I'm like, come to my piano recital. And I was like, I'll fuck which, it. Which was taking place? In your house. In my living room. And guess what? I was fucking there. Yeah, you were. And I was so proud of you. And let me tell you who else was there. So let me just p- paint the picture here. I used to take piano lessons from this woman who lived up the block from me. And she was like. Miss Angela. Angela. Yeah. And she would, it was like 10 bucks or something. And then. By she, the way, 2000 10 bucks. You know, that's a crazy. Yeah, it was a deal. Yeah. But anyway, so. Every so often, we would do like a piano recital. The only people that would come were Frank. What's up? And then all of my grandma's friends. What a good fucking friend I am. Well, of course. I'm going to be like, bro, come through. I'm going to be like, yo, I'm I'm fucking there, my guy. I'm going to tear the house down. Supporting you since 96. Yeah, and she did like an entrance from upstairs. So she would come down the stairs. She did this fucking. (laughs) With like a spotlight. And then uh, I would play the piano and do some songs. But then she would do ventriloquism. You remember that? I don't remember the ventriloquism. She had two dolls. And she would do ventriloquism. She looked like she, she yeah. She looked like she did some. She ventriloquism. was like a she was like a child actor or something when she was younger. Oh, uh, so she was reliving like, her glory days through you. She was using her fingers and just just figuring out. A, you you know what I mean, Joey? Yeah, 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 I do. What a fucking that's I never remembered the ventriloquism. Yeah. Oh my she god. Had, she had she had fucking dolls. And legit. One day I was at your house and your mom just goes, "Oh my god." Miss Angela died. That was so sad. It was a little sad. Because I was like young when that happened. Yeah, we were, we were like 9, 10. It was like not that long after Stefan died. And I was oh, like, I'm was... not going to awake again. Yo, <laughs> I was like, I'm traumatized. I this. knew her. I'm going to, in her in her memory, play the worst version of hot, hot cross buns that you've <laughs> ever heard. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's Miss Angela. Wild. We do have more ads, though. More ads? We just said three. Yeah. How many more do we have? Yeah. Come on, baby. Thank you to our friends. Uh, we got ZocDoc. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. I love ZocDoc because this is for a lot of people. Whom they, you, know, you, you just follow your parents for a certain amount of time when you go to the doctor. They bring you everywhere. But then you have to be an adult, and you have to make these decisions. Who's my doctor going to be? You know what I mean? And ZocDoc will help you find that. You have a, 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 you know, health insurance. You go on this thing. You plug it in. And then you plug in like what you need. Do you need a primary care physician? Or you need something like a specialist or whatever you need? You plug it in. And you find people in your area. Like I said, they are patient-reviewed. So if people have a good experience, they rate them. And you can see their rating. If they're a 5.0, uh, you know, obviously that's good. It's on a scale of 1 to 5. Um, and then they also have... Uh, their next availability and a lot of them you can get an appointment the next day or maybe even sometimes like that day depending on what time you're going on and looking for this thing um so they show all of the uh, available appointments and then you book it right through there and you know that they take your insurance it's not this weird thing where you go to the doctor and all of a sudden you're like wait what insurance do you have and then you end up paying an arm and a leg for no reason so zocdoc is very helpful uh with those things and, and it's great no alarms no surprises it's, it's amazing uh so go to zocdoc.com slash uh, basement and, down, and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours, like I said. Uh, that's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com uh, slash basement, ZocDoc dot com slash basement. Okay, Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com. I've used it numerous times. Every time I go to the doctor now, I just do it. I'm actually like trying out a bunch of different doctors at the moment, so I, I just like find different ones and I'll eventually stick with somebody. But it's great. I've had all cool experiences, by the way. Um, and lastly here, we have Babbel, okay? Le está gustando mi podcast? That's Spanish, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Barely, but yes. Yeah. Babbel, uh, Babbel is great. So during the pandemic, 
I was like bored. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start trying to learn Spanish. I like took Spanish throughout school, but I completely forgot about it. But uh, Babbel is awesome because it's designed by real people for real conversations. Um, all of their tips and tools for learning a new language um, are like approachable. Uh, they're rooted in real life situations, which is nice because sometimes, like, even in school, sometimes like you, you, that you learn things that you don't really use, especially in conversation. And conversational language is different than like reading it in a textbook and it's more useful if you can just have that so this is why it's it's good that it's designed by real people for real conversations um but they have studies from yale michigan state university and other uh and others to, to prove that Babel is better um one study found that Babel, uh that using Babel for 15 hours is equivalent to a full semester at college 15 hours and you're, it's like a full semester and by the way this, this is like an addicting thing to do like it's very fun to learn a new language but also it's sort of like gamified and it's, it's great uh they have, a, have over 10 million subscriptions sold uh it's a real language learning um it's real language learning for real like conversations like i said if you're interested in learning a new language hop right on it you know what i mean i'm on it like i, I honestly i'm not gonna lie i've fallen off a little bit but i want to get back into it with the spanish and eventually come in here and just wow frank you know what i mean i would really do it for you if i can speak spanish better than you can you imagine <laughs> It's only a matter of time. Uh, here's a special limited time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash basement. 55% off. Come on. At babbel.com slash basement, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash basement. Uh, rules and restrictions may apply. Okay? There you go. Uh but yeah, what are you going to do? Also, one thing I wanted to talk about big in the news right now, because <laughs> a lot of people were DMing me, and they were like, you guys just talked about this. But Lil Tay. Yes. So I was like, damn. I was Yesterday I was with Greg, and I was like, bro, Lil Tay just died. Yeah, I, well, I didn't know that Lil Tay was as big of a deal yeah. as apparently the internet now believes. Well, so she was. I mean, she, she's a person. She's a so fucking child. If someone dies, that is tragic. Yeah, you she's know, 14. Obviously, yes. And when she was, like, famous, she was, like, 11. Nuts. No, way earlier than that, because she was famous in the Vine days, dude. That, no, she wasn't. No? Okay, no, never mind. No, 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 I don't think all right, so. I'm, I'm all off. Yeah, you are. But, uh, but yeah, Lil Tay, there was, a new, there was news came out that she died, and then, like, also her brother died or something, and it was, like, oh, people are looking into it. There's an and it was from it was from her... Instagram like account. official Instagram account. Yeah. So people were like, holy shit. Like, you know, what the fuck? Then all of a sudden the turn, the tides turned and all of a sudden it was like, nah, she's alive. Well, zombie. apparently there's back some, from the dead. Uh, well, no, apparently she was never from the dead. She never went to the dead. She never died. Right. Apparently like her and her brother are in some form of a like legal dispute or civil dispute with their parents or some shit like that. That whole story was weird to be. So with. her parents posted it saying like they're dead. Oh, they're dead. What did they think was going to happen? I don't know. Like, I don't what know. What was the strat? I'm all for a good strategy. If you I, want to listen, fake a death of your own child. Big billionaire business Joe. You <laughs> know he loves and supports anything that is going to make some synergistic sense. Did I get it there? Nope. Okay. I don't I have to agree with you here. This I don't know what the strategy is. I don't know what the strat was, but it sucked because you can't fake kill your kids without someone checking on your, ch your kids. I just at that point just real kill them. No. Father of 3. <laughs> uh <laughs> Father of her. No, sure. yeah, obviously. Fucking, what the fuck yeah, is Yeah, Lil Tay, man. And it's kind of crazy because I, I legitimately didn't know who they were. Maybe she's Jesus Christ, dude. Died back from the dead. You ever heard the thing where it was like, if Jesus did come back, he would be thrown in like a mental facility or like. Yeah, a, if some dude is like, yo, I'm Jesus. How many times have you heard someone on, like living under the train just being like, I can walk on water? Have you ever? <laughs> but the water they're walking on is a puddle of their own urine. Right. Yeah, exactly. Have you ever thought that you were Jesus, but you didn't know? If I, no, let me be very clear. Absolutely not. No, I've been very clear in not saying I'm Jesus. You? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> you? <laughs> What's like the holiest like moment you've ever had? <laughs> my confirmation, I guess. Like where you felt like, oh my god, I'm in touch with God here. Ooh. <laughs> I used to pray when I couldn't find stuff. 
You fucking piece of shit. Like, I'd be like, oh, please, I can't find this $800 shirt that I've been looking for. God. Listen, moron. <laughs> it was when I was a children. Oh, okay. So you only had $500 shirts. No. What? I'm I joking. had enough. I had one pair of shoes. But I would lose, like, my Tamagotchi or something. And then my grandma was like, oh, you just got to pray to St. Anthony. And I was like, St. Okay. Anthony ain't God. Well, he ain't God. He's a he's saint. A, he's a patron saint of trying to help you find shit, apparently. Really? Yeah, that's what my grandma said. Why? I didn't if know that. If you lost something, my grandma was like, yo, pray to St. Anthony. He'll help you find it. I was like, all right, I guess this guy's the patron saint. I didn't saint know that like, there were like rules where you would fucking pray to a certain yeah, dude, patron saint and they'd be like, wrong line. Call back. Call this extension instead. Yeah, yeah they start calling. <laughs> Dial you. star six eight. Click. <laughs> but I used to say, St. Anthony, St. Anthony. Come around, something's lost and can't be found. <gasps> and then when you find it, you go, fucking St. Anthony. Yeah, when it was just in the one place you didn't look. Yeah. My pocket. Yeah, exactly. St. <laughs> like, oh, Anthony put it in my so, pocket. So imagine he did, he was just like, <laughs> yeah, dude. And he was just like, ah, that, that is it for you. Who's that? I assume St. Anthony was Italian. I think that was Mario. <laughs> Listen, I got my stereotypical Italian voices down, okay? Yeah, man. The patron saint of lost shit. And I think my mom had a little statue of him, too. I and he had a staff, but it broke. I broke it. And I never said Did you pray to have him find it? Or did oh, you no, leave I, it there? You left I, evidence. Like, you didn't, like, fucking walk away from the hit. And, I buried it. St. Anthony couldn't even find that. Gotcha. <laughs> I fucking bleached my footprints on the way out. I ever, have I ever told you that I've buried bloody sheets? That sounds familiar. When... <laughs> Tell me that. I did, Wait, right? Why did you do that again? We were at the lake, and my brother Nick <laughs> had a fucking like. He used to get a like a wart on his elbow, and you know, have you ever had a wart? Nah. Okay, when they get knocked off or cut or something, they don't stop bleeding. Yeah. Like it's bad. And we were wrestling at the lake house, and I guess his fucking elbow oh, yeah. like scraped the ground, and we wrestled, and we continued to wrestle, and it was all, bro. This bed. Looked like the fucking. Why did you bury the shit? Because we had to get rid of it, and like we didn't want my dad to see, because my dad would have been fucking so mad. So you dug a hole. So we <laughs> went like fifty feet into the woods at the lake. Not that far. Like that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what if it not that if far? If it rains or something, <laughs> actually they'll be uncomfortable. Like oh, I got something. And we put here. this fucking bloody sheet in a shallow grave. Let me make that very clear. Yo, that is the most like. Insane Like why not just like Throw it out Because in our head It was just like Oh we're not bringing The garbage to the garbage can We were too lazy Yeah but like Just put it in And then put stuff on top of it My dad he would Sift it through the garbage all my, my dad probably would've Cause he's a fucking freak I don't know that he's Colombian going through the bastard garbage. I don't think that, <laughs> I don't think that he's going Through the garbage I dude. don't know But we did, we didn't take the chance yeah. So we went And we buried it In a shallow grave That's And like sick. You know what's hysterical In like Fucking, who knows what happens to the piece of land up there? But God forbid, it's gonna come up. God forbid someone sells it and they fucking dig up just bloody bed sheets. Man, God, man, like that, someone got killed here. That's gonna be fucking crazy. Someone buys that land. You know how much time? How many times I've pissed on that land, dude? That ground this place is covered with my piss. Is uh, <laughs> absolutely drenched in my piss. Chill. What's happened more? Me peeing in my car? Or you peeing at the lake? <laughs> you being in your car. No, no, yeah. no, no. You do that every day. No, I don't. Don't say it like that. I do it maybe once or twice a week. <laughs> I don't go to the lake that often. Yeah, but how many times in a weekend have you peed in the like in the woods? Twelve? Often, yeah. That's six weeks for me. Fair. But I'll never go back to, like, I'm not going to piss on the side of your house now. So that, those days are over. What? I'm going to piss on the side of your house. Bro, if you and I are up there and we're fucking drinking, you're not just going to go on the side of my house and pee? No, I would feel weird now. At night? How many? How much do we drink? Quite a bit. Maybe. Yeah, I'll pee all over it. I'll pee on you. No, you won't. I, yeah, you're right. Oh, man. God, buried but, sheets. But kind of crazy, kind of crazy about Lil Tay and her brother. Yeah, dude. I want to know what the fuck is going on there. It sounds like the parents are psychos. Well, Lil Tay and her brother posted something from his Instagram account. Oh, I didn't say that. Oh, you didn't see that? Did he say something? He's like, yeah, they, we're going to... Well, Lil Tay said something. <gasps> Tay spoke? Lil Tay spoke. And it, uh, you know, <laughs> me and my phone again. Here we Here go. We go. Yeah, it's going to take 10 minutes. Okay, we'll hold on, it. hold on. No, no, no. I got this. I got this. I got this. Go ahead. Lil Tay had posted something. 
from <laughs> God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on. Why? I don't want to see pictures. God. All right. I, I can't nice, find it. Dude. But basically saying like they took our account and like made up that we're dead. And we're okay. Like we're alive. Let's be very clear. But can you imagine you're out and someone does like a death hoax of you? And he's like, what, what the fuck? That's terrifying. That'd be, why is it terrifying? It'd be kind of funny. I don't like that. It'd be funny if I was with my family when it happened. Do you know that someone we know was in a, they, they were in a celebrity death pool? And like, how <laughs> you get the money as if someone dies? I know what, I'm very, very aware of what that is. Yeah, and he told me that he put me in. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. That's fucked up. I know. I was like, what the fuck? It's like, yo. Who, did anyone end up winning? Uh, I think what's her name was in there. Um, I was going to say Betsy Ross. <laughs> Long I mean, dead. If you put her in, it's guaranteed money. Yeah. Uh, She's Betty a hundred percent chance of being dead tomorrow. Yeah. Betty White was in it. I think so. Oh, oh, you're fucking, come on. Well, it was like a, I think it's it was the something. safest bet in America. Oh no. It's like you score points for something. So it's like the reason why I was chosen was like, because <laughs> if I died young, then it would be a lot of points. Oh, okay. So this is this is the thirty thousand to strategy, one bet. Yeah. You know, this is yeah, this yeah. is Kevin Malone taking John Mellencamp for winning an Oscar. Those odds, right? That oh, is such oh, a deep oh, cut. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, I, go, I was right. like, wait, what? I was like, I was thinking Carl Malone, and then you said John Mellencamp, and I was like, why would those people even be mentioned in the same? No, apparently Carl Malone also. Got some, there's some stuff out there about hey man, him. Hey, man, not apparently. The guy's a fucking maniac. Really? Okay, I didn't yeah. know. I don't know enough he to He impregnated conf- a fucking child. Oh, yeah, that's not good. A minor. Not good. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, ah, you know, and then the jazz, but, like, bring him out to, like, say hi to people. But Reggie Bush lost his fucking Heisman. 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 What, was he, what, is, what was it? Because he, like, took money for, like, oh, yeah. something. I think we can. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's a good place to stop. No, it's a good place to stop. Yeah, we're gonna keep you updated on all Lil Tay news. Uh, this is the Lil Tay podcast. Lil Tay, Lil Tay, Min Yard. Say it again. Lil Tay Min Yard. The the what? Lil Tay Mint Yard. We'll see you guys next time. You can find <laughs> Frankie at F Alvarez. What was it? I want to know if you've ever listened to any of my sign offs. I like it's white noise. Gotcha. Yeah. Specifically, white noise to you, huh? <laughs> F Alvarez 885 on Twitter, the Freak Alvarez and all the forms of social media. Go check out the basement yard on all forms of social media. Continue to support San Agato Studios and everything we do here and patreon.com slash the basement yard. Go find Joe at his new Instagram handle. What is it again? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. I wanted to do no, I I don't I feel gonna, bad. I don't want them to tell I don't want to tell them what your actual handle is. Yeah, what is it? Or you want me to tell them your burner accounts? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Tell them. At Joe San Agato, 69420. That whole setup for that mm-hmm. joke. You you owe it to you. You're, you're your own worst enemy here. That was your fault, bitch. You set it up. 69420. Like, you let me say it. Okay. Uh, but, yeah. I mean, I, he's covered everything. So, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.